I'll just play a groove and see if I can throw some slide, some slide technique in there. And you'll see that basically what I'm doing is I'm just tapping the pedal and then sliding forward to do the, to do the motion. Cool, and as you can see, um, I'm keeping the hats closed basically the whole time, and that's a really cool bonus of being able to do the slide technique, or really any technique on one foot that enables you to do two really quick double strokes. Y you had a really good opinion about this, or a remark about this a while ago. You said it's kind of like this motion, where you're using mm -hmm. the weight. It's a twitch motion, That's yeah. right, you're using the, when you're doing this, you're kind of using the weight of the stick um, with the little fast twitch muscles, and you're doing the same thing with your foot, where you're using the weight of the pedal and you're kind of bouncing the pedal like a, uh, like a basketball yeah. in America. You want to use small muscles to go fast, not big muscles. There we go. With all of this said, it's basically a, a tap, and then you just slam your foot down for the first note, or for the second note. So the first note, if you look at my feet, you'll see that the starting position for me is, uh, is heel up. This is the way that I play normally. So this is the starting position. And then when you go into the first note of the slide technique, you basically just, you, you shoot your foot up and you land with your, with your toes for a tap. So that's the first note. And then the second note is you go into the first note position and then you just move forward and slam your foot into the ground. I have a question for you about this technique from uh, Wyatt Wheeler. Okay. Is your spring tension extremely tight to pull off this technique? Not at all. Not at all. I think it makes it harder. If I you, think it makes it harder, no, no question, because then you're fighting more with the pedal. I think uh, if I, I mean, I used to spend so much time customizing my pedal and like trying to find the perfect tension. And the thing is with that, you're setting yourself up for failure, especially if you're a gigging musician, because sometimes you can't always take your gear with you and you have to play on somebody else's kit and then you can't do half of the things you can usually do. So I'd say a really good starting point would just be the way you get the pedal out of the box. You know, depends on which company's pedals you play, I guess. Ooh. I try to just stick with medium tension. I don't really mess with it too much. I do turn the beaters around because I like the, the sound of the plastic, but otherwise I kind of keep the tension where yeah. it is.